Okay, let's watch, man. I have nothing to do, man. I'm just standing here. I used to watch you do Tinder on stream, and now you're having a kid. Times change, In man. In the previous video, we described the events leading to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And the Let me just see if we can get a drink for this. Developing on the battlefield from the start the of the war on February 24th war video from until April 7th. And generals. Contrary to almost unanimous Thank expectations, you for the Russia, which From has New Zealand. the second strongest you, military in the world, you, was unable Great. to defeat Ukraine. Russia's plan to rapidly force Ukraine into submission through overwhelming firepower on four different fronts utterly failed. The Ukrainian army, supported by the Western weapon supply, managed to withstand the initial Russian offensive without losing any of its major cities, save for Kherson in the south. Ukraine prevailed in the Battle of Kyiv and Good forced job, the I Russian army to withdraw from the Kyiv, Jotomir, Chernihiv, and Sumyov Blasts. I honestly have no it idea. held the line around Kharkiv. Despite the initial success of the Russian army in the south, namely the capture of Kherson, Russia failed to reach its main objective of capturing Odessa and taking the whole Black Sea shore under its control. It still looks like Russia's the best Ukraine's bet to succeed is on the Donbass front, well, where shipments, Russia man. and its separatist allies have been making slow but steady progress since the beginning Russia of the war. Russia doesn't have the production capacity Moreover, thing. the terrain of Donbass is more suitable for the Russian strategy of overwhelming the adversary through superior firepower. In this video, we're going to discuss the second phase of the war in Ukraine and the beginning of the battle for warfare. Donbass. Covering the events of April 8th to this April 30th. This war goes on for a long, long time, In huh? the background, cyber warfare quietly influences the fate of... Sometimes I feel like the ending will probably be that Ukraine has to give concessions in the East and then the war's over. Which I think, I mean, my God, I shouldn't have an opinion there, man. These people are fucking dying, man, and I'm just sitting here. I shouldn't say anything. ...of both nations. And you should be aware that similar techniques can be used by anyone on anyone. So getting some cyber security in your life is North always VPN. helpful. It's on the village of Krasnosilka, northeast of Odessa, and on Kramatorsk, as the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that it hit the training base of foreign volunteers in Krasnosilka with the Bastion missile system. In Kramatorsk, a Russian Toshka U missile struck the train station killing more than 50 civilians, who gathered there to evacuate to safer parts of oh. Ukraine. One sec. Russian media and bit of a weird stream today. I feel like I say that every day. Bit of a weird stream today, man. Back to normal tomorrow. Attempted but to yeah, deny their culpability, claiming that their army doesn't possess any Tochkayu missiles. But sources are clear that Russia operates at least a few. On April 9th, Putin appointed the commander of the Russian Southern Military District, General Alexander Dvonikov, to overall command over Russia's military campaign in Ukraine, probably hoping that this will improve the command structure. Imagine the fucking pressure on this guy, man. You are responsible for everything, and if you fuck up, you're in big fucking trouble, man. That is some pressure, baby. Dvonikov was previously the Russian commander in its Syrian campaign and is known in some quarters as the Butcher of Syria for targeting civilian areas. There's only one fucking rank in the Russian army and that's Butcher. Dvornikov was already the commander of the Donbass Front, oh where man. Russia was making slow progress in the first weeks of the war. Russia and really since now Russia's man. focus was mainly drawn to this area of Ukraine, it was not surprising that he was appointed to this position. But so far, nothing is Most indicating that Vonikov has changed the overall military strategy of Russia in Ukraine, as Russia is still struggling to establish any kind of supremacy on the battlefield. In general, on April 8th to 10th, there were no major military and operational developments on the fronts. The Russian First Guards tank army took Breshkivka south of Izium, but was stopped in Dubrovna and Tavhenka. The 4th Motor Rifle Brigade made some gains towards Popasna, while the Ukrainian 21st National Guard and the 60th Mechanized Brigade counterattacked south of Kroiri and made minimal gains there. The 80th Air Assault Brigade and the 35th Marine Corps units of the Ukrainian Army continued pressuring the Russian 33rd Motor Rifle Division, 255th Motor Rifle Divi Damn. Division and the 20th Guards Motor Rifle Division in Kherson Oblast. In Mariupol, the Russian army continued methodically destroying the city and decreasing. I read they opened a container in the steel plant. There was 150 corpses in there, man. That's where they put their dead man. 
that's some grim shit, dude. Pockets of resistance. By this point, it had become increasingly clear that the Russian units around the city of Kharkiv and in the occupied south of the country would not be attempting any major offensive operations, as their main goal had become to keep the Ukrainian units in these regions busy in order to prevent them from being redeployed to Donbass. Ukrainian corpses. The Azov um, division put their debt in that uh, thing. The meeting of the Austrian Chancellor, Karl Nehammer, with Vladimir Putin in Moscow on April 11th, which was the first visit by a Western leader to Russia since the start of the invasion, indicated that Russia was still resolute in its willingness to continue its campaign in Ukraine. Despite made Another thing about Russia and their move in Ukraine is obviously, you know, when you play a video game, like Total War, and you make an aggression pact and then you break it. You get minus 100 trust, right? And no one wants to do diplomacy with you anymore. That's kind of what Putin kind of really did, man, right? Whatever he says, whatever he does, you cannot trust anymore. Like, that, this guy is a perfect example of how political trust works. N whatever he says, it means he nothing, right? And losses nothing, on the battlefield. Dude. Nehammer said that Putin Lost believes that he was winning the war. On April 12th to 13th, the most important events developed in besieged Mariupol. By then, the main pocket of resistance of the Ukrainian forces was the Azovstal Iron and Steel Works, which is like a city in a city, covering almost 11 square kilometers of land, with underground tunnels stretching to almost 24 kilometers. The arrogance of the this Allies. also turned Azovstal into a shelter for civilians, along with being almost an impregnable fortress. On April 12th, the Azov battalion claimed that Russia used some like sort of chemical boss? weapon against them in Azovstal, but this claim was not proven. On April 13th, a group of soldiers and officers from the Ukrainian 36th Marine Brigade reportedly surrendered to the Russians after days of fierce resistance, which demonstrates just how dire the situation of- Yeah, very dire. But man, it's so scary to, to, to capitulate to Russians, man. They're like orcs. They will just shit on you, right? The Mariupol They're not going to treat you like was. a prisoner of war on Still, their Still, another their group loss. of the 36th Marine Brigade joined Azov in the defense of Azovstal. The Ukrainian army lacked the capacity to break the siege of the city, which basically left the remaining Mariupol defenders on their own. But April 13th also brought a huge propaganda win for Ukraine. Ukraine claimed to hit the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, the Moskva Cruiser, with two anti-ship cruise or missiles. Executed, man, or will be While executed. Russia denied the Moskva was hit by a missile, it acknowledged an explosion on the cruiser and yeah, its we're subsequent actually losing sinking. The game, guys. I am Our video wow. on that topic has been published Fucking and you can watch it via here. the link in the description That's and insane. top right corner. On April 14th, Ukraine yeah. carried out the second helicopter attack in Russia, this time in Bryansk Oblast. Russia claimed that residential areas were shelled in Klemovo and Spodoreshino. Ukrainian sources countered with the claim that the Russian army shelled its own village during the attempt to bring down their helicopter. The situation on the front remained relatively stable. Russia continued its tactic of sending small groups of reinforcements to the front line in Donbass and engaging in offensives with small units. This is probably an indicator that Russia continued to suffer from its inability to coordinate offensive actions uh, among the Russian large bearmen can't even air coordinate a fucking to gain war any decisive Ukraine, advantage man. on the battlefield. While Russia made some very minor gains they really in lost the Donbass magic, front, they? Ukraine claimed to liberate Rohan in Kharkiv Oblast oh. and some villages and towns north of Kherson. Also, reports of major partisan activity in Melitopol emerged. Where was Gondo when, when the West Front fell? Dates. Huh? On April 16th to 17th, Russia completed the capture of the port of Mariupol, now reducing the Ukrainian resistance in the city only to the Azovstal. On April 18th, the Ukrainian President Zelensky stated that well, Russia had started when, an offensive in the Donbass man, that's region, be one day. which indicated that the redeployment of Russian units from the Kyiv and Kharkiv fronts to Thank the southeast man, it, had man. largely been completed. Where was Germany when Ukraine fell? Overall, yeah. on April 16th to 18th, Ukraine made some gains southeast of Chuhuiv as the second brigade liberated Malinivka. And it's crazy to think right that just nukes is is nukes are the only reason why the world isn't intervening, man. If there was no nukes, man, Russia would get stomped right now, right? Lebyezha and Basilivka, while also reinforcing this the shit vicinity be over, of Kharkiv man. with the 93rd Mechanized Brigade, either for Kharkiv's defense or for a potential counterattack. Very complex situation here, how you Russia's cannot main fucking help Ukraine operations on too these much, days otherwise a crazy person falls in by the 71st Guards Motorized Rifle Regiment, 
42nd Guards Motorized Division, 291st GMRR, and 42nd GMRD, which was repelled by the Ukrainian 110th Territorial Defense Unit. man, look at these motherfuckers, huh? On April 19th to 21st, Russia captured Kremina in Luhansk Oblast and made progress in Rubizhna and Popasna. It was estimated that on these dates, Russia had around 25 game? BTGs Bro, man, on the front the from up, Izium to Papasna. But the even game. such a large concentration of troops did not enable Russian forces to make any sort of rapid advance. The Russian attempt to regain Malinivka failed. Elsewhere, the Russian 13th GTR, 4th GTD, 752nd MRR and 3rd MRD attack on Brashkivka, Divbrunna and Dovhenka was repelled by the Ukrainian 81st Air Assault Brigade and 2nd UVC Battalion. The 1st Air Assault UVC defended Avdivka from the 60th SGMRB and elements of the 5th CAA, Man, so while Sparta Battalion dude. of the DNR Separatists and the well, Khan Battalion a saw their defense attack bonus, towards Marinka fail home, against the 54th Mechanized Brigade in Zaporizhia. And I think any man protecting their home is very fierce and ready to fucking die. The 59th Motorized Brigade off. repelled the Russian invaders in Ariki. Don't you have that feeling? I mean, we're just fucking gamers, we're not really warriors, but imagine someone threatens your home, right? Your fucking home where your family lives. You're gonna have a lot of moral. The one hundred and tenth Territorial Defense ready. Unit defeated an attack on Halaipola. The assault on Temerivka and Velika Novosilka of the seventieth GMRR and forty second GMRD failed too. Russia also failed to take Trodolia Bivka south of Kravoyri, as the sixtieth Mechanized Brigade defended the town from the eleventh GAAB. On April twentieth, the Ukrainian commander of the 36th Marine, Serhii Volon, no made joke. what he called his last address to the I mean, world, I tried my best, huh? where he stated the that the you? Ukrainian defenders of the city were running out of supplies. The unlikeliness of breaking the encirclement of Mariupol Especially made the kid, loss you know, of the city hard. almost inevitable. I always like to think that if they will ever touch Finland, I will probably fucking really call the reserves and be like, hey man, let's write me in, brood, I'm coming to training. But the Azov style but was still actually... standing. Truthful Despite here? this, on know. April 21st, Putin declared victory in Mariupol as he ordered the defense minister, Sergei Shoigu, to blockade the Azovstal instead of trying to capture it, which would cause massive amounts of casualties. Twelve BTGs were reported to be involved in the siege of Mariupol, and the announcement of the victory in Mariupol would free Finland many Russian units well. to be redeployed It's funny elsewhere. how the young men in the West say if they touch to Finland, to we're calling the <laughs> It is I unclear call it if how they touch Finland, man, we're going all out, and bro. How many of them then could have then there's these the gloves are off, front. dude. Then we can fucking On April 22nd, play the game, dude. The deputy commander of Russia's firing. central military district, Major General Rustam Minikiev, stated that the aim of the second phase of the Russian campaign in Ukraine was to take the and southern Ukraine under full control. I don't know much about Finland, but I always hear they're very militarized. Finland is no joke. Finland ain't no bitches, man. These guys are not like Germany. They actually built militarized and stuff. I mean, with Russia as a neighbor, you probably creating have to. a land corridor with Transnistria, a pro-Russian separatist Finland puppet regime army. in Moldova, where, according yes. to him, Sisu. there was evidence that the Modern Russian-speaking population is yeah, being oppressed. Yeah, imagine they would invade Finland, Ben. Finland would get land leased into oblivion, bro. Dude, every Finnish soldier would have ten heavy artillery on his arm. In reality, this breakaway yes, Moldovan territory has been under Russian control for almost three nice decades, shit, dude. and Moldova never made serious attempts that to change the situation. That the West is a bit united like that, man. That's beautiful. Still, this demonstrates that the man, war in Ukraine could escalate with you. so and would bring Moldova <laughs> and potentially its NATO member ally Romania into the conflict. But that's a good question. Why don't we have the feeling about Ukraine, right? On the 20 that's a hard question to answer, though. Like, for Finland, we, Finland is part of EU. You, you. You, I, I've been in Finland, you know, it's just a bit closer than fucking, uh, much closer than Ukraine, you know. They have a really hot Prime the Minister. The 28th of April, Don't the most sexist. important developments and heavy fighting once again took place on the Donbass front. On April 24th, the units of the 201st military base of Russia seized Lozova in yeah, the Donetsk Oblast and reached the outskirts of Liman. It's, it's, it's good when young people see advances around each other as brothers, man. Capturing several small you know, I, I love this shit. Like, uh, Ben, Spence is a, uh, is a Hungarian shit. I, I don't like Hungary and their the government. I think their government is a joke. But I, I fucking love Ben. Ben seems like a great fucking guy, man. And I, I love this feeling, dude. Of, of... Dude, in a weird way, gaming is doing that too, right? With gaming, with gaming and globalism and the internet, you get so much more connected, man. Small towns and building a pontoon bridge across the Krasna River west of Severodonetsk. On April 26th, 
the Institute of War Studies. And the problem is the internet makes you not like Russians, right? <laughs> like, dude, for 20 years I play video games. I meet Swedish people, Finnish, French, Hungarian, Spain, even Brazil. I'm like, you're my brothers, you're my brothers. And then you play Dota 2 and you're like, hi guys, let's have a nice game. Suck up, man, fuck you. I go middle right feet. And I kind of like, eh. The, I didn't really go close to the Russians in all my years in Dota and and uh, and Counter Strike. Realized how Russia had changed its approach to offensive operations and had started to apply a sounder and safer pattern of operational <clears throat> movement in Donbass, particularly along the front line from Izium to Rabizhne. Instead of continuous frontal assaults of separate the game, units the game's along vast anyway. fronts yeah, was with today. weak logistical support and weak fire support from supporting I units, still more pasta Russia me. had started pushing the Ukrainians down by moving through more or less parallel roads within supporting distance of each other, ensuring protection for each other from the flanks. On these dates, Russia was pushing from Izium southwest towards Bavinkova and southeast towards Slovyansk. There are also several columns bypassing Rabizhna with an intent to encircle the city. Oh, this is scary, it right? looks the like a potentially looks coordinated insane, move from train. Izium in the north and from the separatist-controlled Donetsk Oblast in the south to encircle the Ukrainian troops fighting in Slavyansk, Kramatorsk, Severodonetsk, Lysychensk, yeah, Rabizhna, Papasna and surrounding areas. If such encirclement is secured, it will be a major problem for Ukraine. But it is yet to be seen whether depleted and, and demoralized happens, Russian units like, oh, still have the capability for such a breakthrough. The Russian doctrine calls for two circles to be formed around the enemy pockets, with the bigger outer one tasked with repelling counterattacks from outside the pocket, and the, the second inner one up. to fight. I don't see any rivers here. What, what are you talking about, bridges? And reduce the pocket with concentrated direct and indirect fire, as well as yeah, aerial yeah, attacks. Yeah, it is not clear if the Russians have enough manpower to create even one circle in such a vast area, let alone two. This is not a circle of This, all. as well as the fact that the Russians made almost no progress in Zaporizhia, might make such an operation impossible. It should be noted that on the, the 27th, River. the Russian chief of general staff, the second highest leader of the Russian army, Valery Gerasimov, was appointed the overall commander of the Izium offensive which proves how crucial this area is for the Russian plans, and might imply that Putin is not entirely happy with Dvonikov's... I, I think this is going to sound very cynical. I, will, I think I will play a Steel Division game about this war, man. Progress. But only Ukraine. Meanwhile, only Ukraine. the 239th Guards Tank Slow Army opinion. and the 90th Ukraine Guards Tank Division ground, like continued one. their advance towards Rabizhna. And it looks like they managed to push the Ukrainian defenders of the city to its south. The details of this battle are unclear, but a few Russian and separatist sources admitted that their side suffered massive losses, as the bad coordination between the infantry, artillery and air force forced the infantry to attack head on. Soon. It is possible that the Ukrainians were able to retreat to their well-prepared positions in the southern part of the city. The Russian 57th Guards Motor Rifle Division and the 127th Motor Rifle Division kept on putting pressure on Severodonetsk and Lysychansk. The 150th the Motorized Rifle well, Division... Well, Benz, I hope that bitch-ass fucking Orban is gonna be on our side, so we don't have to fucking face Captain Benz, man. I mean, Benz will probably lose his heroes very quickly and just play shitty broken class. But yeah, you fucking tell Orban made some to the right side, that fucking against the 24th dude. Ukrainian Mechanized Brigade. The Ukrainian units around Kharkiv uh, tried to, to conduct counter-offensive... Turkey is easily pro-West, because Turkey makes mad money from the West. Dude, Turkey is, I'm not an expert, but the, the tourism, the EU funding, man, uh, the, the, the refugee deal, man, Turkey is making so much money of the West. There's no way. Operations in the area the and recaptured Kutuzivka and I looks to seize control seconds. of the E-105. Erdogan will be like, hey, can you please deny that the PKK is like a legit uh, faction? And then they will. Highway, which is a vital supply line for the Russian Donbass offensive. But Russia continued maintaining a large presence in the area which the Ukrainian general staff estimates at at least seven BTGs of the 6th CAA and naval infantry Standard of the Baltic Turkish fleet. Are coming in. This prevents you know, Ukraine from redeploying we'll its units in the area to Donbass. On April 23rd to 28th, Russia continued to conduct offensive operations oh, along the orkhiv felipe Novosilka line in Zaporizhia, and, uh, later, bolstered by some of the units redeployed from Mariupol. While the 59th Mechanized Brigade held their Russia. positions in Oregon. I mean, imagine how hard it must be for young soldiers. Let's just 
fantasize. Just a little meme, right? Benz is watching Tommy K, likes the community, he's international. He's probably pro-life and happiness and democracy, right? And let, let's just fantasize. There's a world war, and Hungary says, yeah, we're fucking with the West. Then you have these young soldiers that probably are even in Russia right now that don't want to do this shit, but they kind of have to because it's their job, and otherwise they they have a problem, you know? There must be so many soldiers that don't want this shit, but they have to fucking do it, man. Especially on the Russian side, probably. A lot of fucking and the 110th Territorial Defense Unit repelled the attack the moms, of the 42nd dude. Guards Motor Rifle Division in Huliapina. Other elements of the 42nd Guards so Motor Rifle Hungary Division and the 163rd Guards Tank Regiment made several kilometers of progress Shit, in Temerivka and Veliki Novosilka. Every time Russia makes progress, I cringe. It kind of makes me. Ugh. It's like watching Homelander in The Boys. But were eventually stopped by the 53rd Mechanized Brigade and overwhelming artillery shelling. Again, the final goal of the Russian <laughs> If only Hungary had a country to unite with. ...operations in Zaporizhia <laughs> is not entirely clear. I mean, the biggest fucking Nazi country in Europe is fucking Austria, right? I mean, you probably shouldn't unite with Austria, man. They're like the biggest threat of all. The goal... No one is more into Russia's ass than the fucking leadership of Austria. ...will may be to stop the redeployment of the Ukrainian troops to Donbass, or to achieve a breakthrough on the Orkiv Velika Novosilka line, to attempt a broader encirclement of the Ukraine... I have some former schoolmates in Luhansk that got conscripted in Russian army and they are enjoying it. Okay. Ukrainian units in Donbass. In South Ukraine, both sides Austria tried to make gains, world wars. but the situation remained stable <laughs> as Russia made small gains towards Alexandrovka ah, and Tavriska, while there was notable Ukrainian partisan activity in Kherson and Melitopol, where Ukrainian saboteurs managed to destroy the railway nice. bridge across the Malye Utlyuk River, shit, boys. creating further problems for the Russian logistics out so of Crimea. Towards Ukraine, man. Russia's main transport yeah, hub in the clear. Kherson occupation zone, the Kherson airport in Chernobyevka, is under almost constant shelling by the Ukrainian army. As on April 24th, the Ukrainian officials stated that the 17th attack on Russian military infrastructure and positions in Chernobyevka has occurred which makes it more difficult for Russians to resupply. This is uh, from April. They all reported that the Ukrainian army is 30 kilometers ahead of Kherson again. Nice. In the southern front. Nice. You gave me hope. Man. Despite the Russian declaration of victory in Mariupol, Russia continued its attacks in and around the Azovstal defensive perimeter. This is from On April ago. 25th, troubling like news came ago, from the Moldovan region of Transnistria. Ex this is from six weeks ago? Yeah, well, the video isn't, but right now we're talking about the yeah, explosions that the so-called State Security Ministry in Transnistria were reported, which Western experts assessed to be a probable false flag attack by Russia uh, to create an excuse for a potential intervention into Moldova. Yeah, as if anyone believes Russia this, man. Maintained Even fucking Discord 12-year-olds understand that a that's military false flag, base man. in Transnistria. With that's like when I play Germany in roleplay games and oh, there has been a tech on my radio station. Two oh, motorized rifle yeah, battalions, yeah, yeah, man. which can act as a foothold for a potential attack on Moldova. But in total, Russian and separatist troops in the region probably amount to less than 7,000, which makes it unlikely to be used against Ukraine. The situation around Transnistria became even more complicated on the 27th when Russia destroyed the only bridge connecting northern and southern parts of the Odessa Oblast, thus leaving the south portion with only one way to connect with the north, and possibly decreasing the chance of Romanian support for Ukraine. With the sinking of Moskva, it seems that Russia doesn't have the capability for a naval invasion of southern Odessa to link up with the troops in oh, Transnistria, shit, yeah. they might actually plan but it is a good right idea to it's watch so this developing situation. Them. Russia continued to target transportation and urban infrastructure in western Ukraine, vital for the supply of its troops fighting on the front lines. Bellingcat reported that by April 24th, Russia had likely used 70% of its total it's precision missile stockpile, media. while Ukraine got a major boost on the diplomatic front. On April 26th, a meeting of defense ministers of NATO member states and its allies throughout the world in Germany resulted in important pledges about continuing and increasing military support oh, to, to Ukraine. That, man. Moreover, on April 28th, the US Congress adopted the Lend-Lease for Ukraine. More and more artillery units, armored vehicles, tanks, anti-tank yes, weapons, military aircraft, side, and you know? other types Such of military vehicles and supplies are going to be delivered to Ukraine throughout May and June. In total, the US is planning to send 33 billion US dollars to help Ukraine.
which on top of That's what was already pledged, spent well is at least home. equal to the Russian military budget in 2022. Beautiful men. Yes. Overall, throughout April, Czechia and Poland are reported men. to have sent T-72 tanks. Slovakia sent S-300 air defense systems. The US sent C-4 and M-114 howitzers, Javelin anti-tank missiles, MI-17 helicopters, armored Humvees, M-113 yes, personnel exactly. carriers, switchblade yes. drones, Phoenix drones, and M-18A1 good, right? Claymore anti personnel I mean, the most crazy thing about this entire war is there has been videos where Germans drive to Berlin and demonstrate pro-Russian. That is the most mind-blowing. What Putin is doing, I can't even get it, why he's doing it. I kind of get what everyone is doing. Everyone has an agenda. But Western people demonstrating pro-Russia in Berlin? Uh, like, that is on a whole nother level, man. That is, you must be paid actors. That, like, that is maybe the first case of the meme paid actors. Personnel mines. France provided Milan anti-tank like missile Mamba, systems Mamba, Mamba, and Caesar howitzers. In too, the UK sent Star Street anti-aircraft missiles just and so anti-tank missiles. Lost, man. While Germany has reportedly decided to give Ukraine Gepard air defense systems. The decrease of the Russian precision missile stockpile handcuffs Russia from completely disrupting the import of this military supply, despite the assurances of Putin to German make elements? a lightning fast what response to any is, intervention right? from a third really party Germany into the war in Ukraine. Muppet. On April 29th to 30th, Ukraine continued its counteroffensive operations around Kharkiv. The 72nd Mechanized Brigade liberated Slatina, Prudyanka, and Lozova north of Kharkiv and continued nice. its attempts to reach the border. This Ukrainian success might force the Russians to pay I more attention easy. to the defense of territories captured by them in the Kharkiv Oblast. South of Izzy, Russia can... Of pro -Russian. Oh, that's just a bunch of... They can take that serious. That's 12-year-old... 12 to 16 year old white western males that just want to be edgy on the internet, man. Continued its unsuccessful but, dude, attempts adults to take strategically important scary, yeah. cover, while the 74th Guards Motor Rifle Brigade advanced to Yampil, inching a bit closer to the Savisky Donetsk River, where analysts claim the Ukrainians are planning to make a stand. Heavy battles continued in Popasna, Rabishna, and along the Severodonetsk salient. Even though I feel like there, there has to be studies about this, there's Nowadays, the world is so complex that many people can handle that. And I believe that some people just want to always be anti. They don't give a fuck about Corona. They're just against it. Corona doesn't exist. Whatever happens in Russia, everyone is pro-Ukraine. I am anti-Ukraine. There's just people nowadays that want to be anti. They, they, they love the fucking attention from that. They, 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 they think they're heroes. It's like a hero syndrome. They think they're special. There's just people like that now. They just exist. They just want to feel special It was reported shit. that Ukraine deployed the 4th and the 17th tank brigades to men. bolster their defenses in what is now the most important theater of the war. They're like adult emos, they just want to be the special. The second phase of the Russian invasion of Ukraine not has not brought any major breakthroughs for the Russian army. Russia has made some notable gains along the front line between Izium and Papasna, but the Ukrainian defenses are intact and are awaiting yeah, a new supply of much-needed yeah. weapons from its allies. Ukraine's ability to redeploy reserve units to this area proves that they have the capability and manpower to bolster its defenses. Despite some notable gains around Kharkiv, at this point, military experts doubt that Ukraine has enough firepower for an extended counter-offensive campaign they against Russia, particularly in Donbass. But this could change with the deployment of new weapons, artillery units, and military vehicles promised by the West to the front line while Russia's weapon and manpower reserves are diminishing. Military experts also note the increased importance of artillery, as it is being assessed as the primary reason why any of the sides have failed well, to make any major breakthroughs so far. I, I Perhaps the pay import of modern and effective Western artillery systems into Ukraine could change the tide of the do. Battle of Donbass. Artillery only, boys. Ukraine is becoming increasingly confident in not only withstanding the Russian offensive, but actually defeating them and driving them away, which is evident from the rhetoric of- But it's, it's such a fucked up situation. Even if Ukraine wins, right, you're gonna have such a fucked up situation that region. Russia will never forget that, right? Even if they win, Russia is gonna get- Oh, they're gonna be mad at this shit, man. And it's gonna be the such Ukrainian a power military and civilian leaders, along Soft with increased over. attacks on targets <laughs> in the Russian cities of Voronezh, Kursk, and Belgorod, 
where a number of military and infrastructure objects were hit. Belgorod in particular seems to be attacked every night, often by the Bayraktar drones. It is curious why Ukraine uses these drones in this manner, but even though Russia claims that four of them were destroyed in the last days of the month... A lot of people can month, say Ukraine is reportedly out of artillery shells, so then the West needs to send them, like, what's going on? It is clear they are getting some results. Along with that, on May 2nd, an explosion at the Perm ammunition plant occurred, and while it is still unclear how this happened, it could have easily been a saboteur job, similar to the yeah, way to Belarusian opponents of the Russian the invasion Russian stable, on occasion disrupted Belarusian railway supply lines to Russian troops Beautiful. fighting what, what Russia has been doing so well since the Cold War and communism is just propaganda, right? They're so good at that. Yeah. So effective. On the last yeah, day of the of month, experience. Ukrainian sources claimed that the artillery barrage conducted yeah, yeah. against the Russian staging area near Izium killed another Russian major general, commander of the 2nd CAA, Andrei Simonov. According to the sources, oh, the 30 general? vehicles were destroyed how do these, and... I don't know much about modern war, but how do these generals always die? But fucking sit in a bunker, you muppet! The fuck are you doing? What the hell are they dying? Between 100 and 200 impossible? soldiers and officers were killed. Do you think the EU Claims should embargo Russia? Cannot happen because Russia uh, vetoes dead. That the overall commander of the Izium offensive, Gerasimov, was wounded during the attack would prove to be false. We but tracked Simenov... the radios. What do you mean we, AZ? You will fucking worry on that war, man? You are texting me out of fucking Loslova? Of might be the ninth Russian general killed in this war. There are some expectations that the war in Ukraine would end before May 9th, they the day on which Russia Western celebrates sources. the victory Nato's in the Great Patriotic info. War. Ah. Nice. The general Russian rhetoric. I mean, Russia must also be very mad, like the Putin stuff, at how the West is helping, right? But what the fuck's he gonna do, bro? You know, he's gonna drop a nuke, man. It's a, then the world ends. Indicated that reaching the administrative down borders the of Donetsk Oblast and Luhansk Oblast would be like propagated that. to the Russian public as a victory. But so far, nothing indicates that Russia is going to have any major breakthrough at the beginning sniper. of May. There have been some indicators of the Russian plan to declare the creation of new separatist regimes in captured regions of Ukraine, particularly in Kherson, where Russia... Win the, war. the way Ukraine wins the war is taking back their own territory and then making a peace deal, right? That appeases Russia and maybe give away the East. Obviously, dude, Ukraine knows they cannot go into Russian territory. If you give Putin a fucking reason uh, to go hard on you with real bombs... That's the problem of Ukraine. You cannot go into Russia. Because that's an opening for Putin to actively just looking for local collaborators man. to appoint as probably new civilian administrators of Kiev occupied Kiev regions and declared its intent to start using Russian rubles in those areas. So people, I'm doing okay, man. However, the low-level insurgency, as well as the continued protests of the locals so of Kazanoblast, makes this that's referendum seem far-fetched. But that's going to be very Russian hard. manpower and weapon supply continues to diminish amidst fierce Ukrainian resistance. According to the British Russia's Defense Secretary Russia. Ben Wallace, Russia has lost 15,000 troops throughout the war by April 25th. It's not even Oryx that much military if you think about it in a grand provides scale documentary war, evidence to the destruction of 600 Russian tanks, nice. 1,207 different types of military vehicles, 71 command posts, and communication stations. How much money is going down the gutter, man? Because of one fucking idiot. Stations. 12 heavy mortars, 162 pieces of artillery, 64 rocket launchers, 20 anti-aircraft guns, 55 surface-to-air missile systems, 26 military aircraft, and... Question is though if, that, if we have the good ending where Crimea stays in Russia, Donbass and Luhansk become autonomous regions, and Ukraine gets the white piece after that, what is gonna, what's Russia going to do next? They're not going to stop, right? Every 10 years, he's going to fucking try something, you know? The promise he now woke up the West, and they're probably ready now to face this more. In comparison, Ukraine has documented losses of 145 tanks, 338 military Georgia vehicles, is next. 53 pieces of artillery, 16 rocket Did launches, you you Georgia, 5 anti-aircraft guns, 42 kind of surface-to-air missile systems, 20 military aircraft, 5 helicopters, and 7 Bayraktar TB2 drones. Remember that these are only losses which have video or photo evidence, yeah. and undoubtedly there are much more on both sides. Are you telling me they have evidence of 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 so many dead people, man? Please. There have been no recent reports of stick, manpower man. losses by Ukraine. On April 16th, Zelensky claimed Georgia that 3,000 Ukrainian soldiers had been killed during the war. Peace, but since both swords, sides man. tend to downgrade their losses, the Ukrainian casualties are probably much higher. Yeah. 
it is worth remembering that unlike Ukraine, Russia has not declared martial law and mobilization, which I puts some limit war? on- Isn't that scary that we live in a time of war again? Isn't that fucking Infant insane? Free. Thank you, Eduard. So the personnel insane? they can deploy in the war. There have been some rumors about Russia's preparation for mobilization in an attempt it's, to it's compensate so for its manpower losses. Dude. So far, Russia has denied these claims. But some expect the Russian government to engage in false flag attacks on its own territory, yeah. to blame the Ukrainians for it, and get an excuse for mobilization of its population. I'm kind of always hoping that you guys are very wrong with China attacking Taiwan. I really hope you guys are fucking mad wrong with that shit. That's my god, man. Dude, one day you're gonna wake up, man. Zelensky said 200 Ukrainians die a day. So it's probably a lot higher. Man, eh, fuck. You know, you wake up in the morning and you just fucking... You, you check your phone and then, oh, Taiwan war, man. And then, my god, eh. But I believe, maybe as a final thought here before we end the stream, I think we cannot allow ourselves to be sissy boys. The world is what it is. The world is a dark place. We kind of forgot that in our nice Western worlds where everything's kind of easy. Russia and China exist, whether you like it or not, and bad things will happen. And the best thing we Western people can do, especially young Western men, which are mostly us, is to accept the world as it is and be ready for it, man. On we the pretext of protection of the motherland against foreign incursions, continued gas and oil export, including to Europe, is not gonna help. still helps the Russian economy to stay afloat and fund its war efforts. But amidst pressure from Ukraine, USA and UK, the European Union has been pondering the ban on oil imports as part of its sixth sanction package. At this point, Russia supplies 26% of the EU's oil imports, and despite opposition from Hungary, Austria and Slovakia, on May 2nd, it looks Oil4 like colors. the EU had been- That's Oil4 colors! Yo, that guy plays Oil4, bro! What? That's legit Oil4? Whoa! Bro, you're playing Oil4, mate! Subscribe to the channel, Kings and Generals, man, you wanna collab? Thank you, Kovl. That's legit Oil4 colors, man! been able to what reach a fuck? consensus among its member states to adopt an oil ban on Russia. Russia also supplies 40% of the EU gas imports, and has demanded the payment for its gas in rubles. Publicly, many European politicians dismiss this demand as blackmail, and state that they're going to pay for the gas in euros. But Russia has already cut the gas supply to Poland and Bulgaria as a sign of its resolute stance on this issue. Since Europe is so heavily reliant on Russian gas... No, 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 in Hoi 4, if you go uh, nowadays Russia, it's always dark green, like in all the mods and stuff. ...supplies, and does not have an immediate solution to potential gas shortages, it is yet to be seen how they're going to proceed. It was reported that several European gas companies are looking for ways to pay for the gas without breaching the sanctions regime, and the EU has pledged to provide more detailed guidance on the payment scheme to the European gas companies which would not it's be in breach of sanctions. Stop fucking arguing. We're going to talk about the third month of the conflict in the coming weeks, so make sure you are subscribed and have pressed and, and, the bell and, button to see it. This really happens in Please real life. consider so liking, commenting, and sharing. It helps immensely. I think that's a problem that Our young people have nowadays, especially like Hoyo 4 Discord people, man. This is fucking real.